I'm Will, I'm the Head of People and Culture, and I work in the travel industry. I would rate the weekly 10 product 9 out of 10. The business problems we're looking to solve by using Weekly 10 is our previous one-to-one -one system uh, was out of date and ineffective. We're looking for a, a mechanism that would help facilitate open, honest, two-way feedback, and also a process that would allow us to identify learning and development needs for all our people so that they could fill their, fulfill their full potential. What I like best about Weekly 10 is that it's a very simple, intuitive system and it's embedded within MS Teams, uh, which is a system we already use uh, across the whole organisation. It also facilitates um, really powerful quality conversations around performance and development, built around a bespoke, uh, tailored uh, capability framework per role. And also it provides instant visibility to how people are feeling and how they can be supported by their managers. I don't really dislike anything about the Weekly 10 product. Um, however, I think the analytics and dashboard functionality and reporting could perhaps be a little bit more user-friendly and comprehensive, but equally, I'm still quite new to, the, to the, the product and still learning myself. My recommendations for anyone considering using the Weekly 10 platform are that it's really important that senior management are bought into the whole process and the system from the very, very beginning. And that's because a lot of detailed planning is required when building those capability frameworks that are so crucial to the system. Also for rollout, it's really important that the fundamental change management process is undertaken in order to embed the system uh, and that a good, there's a good communication plan uh, when rolling out. However, if anyone is looking for a simple and powerful tool to facilitate forms of development for their people, then I believe Weekly 10 has to be one of the best out there.